Maureen, we need to find the best Hokkien Mee rivals. Faster! Okay, is it Hainan Fried? Is it Original Serangoon? Is it Sui Guan? Is it Nut? You find her. Uh. Is it Kim Kit or not? Faster! Welcome, Welcome to another, another episode, episode of Famous, Famous Rivals. Rivals. Today we'll be trying Hokkien Mee. So what's your favourite type of Hokkien Mee? Wet. Mm, I like it wet too. Ooh. Mm, wow, that's <laughs> so what is your criteria of a good Hokkien Mee? Hokkien Mee, very important to have like the wok hay. <gasps> wow, the wok hay is like once you eat the first mouth, you can tell it. Then it would be nice to have some pork lard. Oh. I freaking love pork lard. Same. Same lah. Yeah. Then uh, I also like like when the broth is like very flavorful. Wow. I think that's my three criteria. What about oh, you? Oh wow, I think for me right, it's the same plus the noodles must be like QQ. You know, it ah. should be like properly like cooked. Can I be alkaline? You know, like, oh yeah, and I hate it when the noodles are alkaline. And on top of that right, the chilli must complement the Hokkien Mee. <sighs> okay, so today we'll be trying two rival Hokkien Mee stores. First one is gonna be Geylang Lorong 29 Charcoal Fried Hokkien Mee. And second one is Sui Guan Hokkien Mee. Oh wow. They are oh rivals god. because um, they are brothers. Oh my god. Oh Rival god. race. Wait, wait, wait. So is it like because they're brothers, right? They got like, you know, they fight each other kind. You know, they hate each other. Actually, they have no bad luck. <gasps> So it's like just oh my God. two brothers open the okay, stores. Okay, maybe after this episode they will have bad blood rage. Because of what we read. Because yeah. <laughs> we have to choose. Oh my God, because we have to choose one. Oh, shit. oh my God, then we go home together. Oh hey, why, no. why, why you like that? Why do you say like that? But you know what? I'm so hungry right now. I also. Oh, let's go. Let's go. So here we are now at our first Hokkien Mee place. It's at Geylang Lorong 29 Charcoal Fried Hokkien Mee. You okay. tried it before? Yeah, I've tried it before but it was like years ago. But oh. that moment that I tried it right, it was so good. I love it. Here we have a big plate of like Hokkien Mee. Okay, they got the pot lah. There. Oh my god, pot lah. It's so big eh. Wow, shit, got a lot eh. See the pot lah, wow, it's quite big. I love pot lah eh. Same. And the size is like pretty like mid lah. It's not a lot. Okay, okay, I see there's a lot of squid also. Yeah. Quite a lot right there. Yeah. Right. And they also have the calamansi here. Okay. okay. You can do the honors. Okay. Ooh, love that. You know how to mix Hokkien Mee? Yeah. Correct. Like a like a cook? Uh? Yeah, like that. Ah. <laughs> Correct. Yeah, see? <laughs> okay. Hey, okay, I must say, uh, the appearance wise, right? This looks a bit more grey. Yeah, correct. The, like, the, the, it's not bright yellow. Because so, I feel like some, some places right, when they serve the Hokkien Mee, it's damn bright. Yeah, it's like the so yellow, it's like, it's like yellow. I'm like, eh, wow, this is like the, the saturation down. <laughs> I, I have a feeling it's like the broth or like the chuck, right? Correct. That's coating the noodles lah. Mm. So, and I feel like, it smells wise, you can smell oh, the wok hay. Yes. Wow, I love it. So that's a good sign of a good Hokkien Mee lah. Okay, let's try okay. it. Oh my god, so excited. Can I just say, the moment I eat it, the wok hay like, boom. No. Yeah, it's there. The wok hay like the flavour. Freaking right. like, wok into your mouth eh. But literally, until now, after I chew it's and swallow, it's still got the aftertaste of the charcoal, the wok hay. It just elevates the whole Hokkien Mee itself. Oh my god, can, can I just say that I feel that the broth here, right, is the same broth that I tried <laughs> before. I like it. I feel that it's very gao. Yes, it is. Um, and it's quite rich and it's also like quite seafoody also. Shall we try the prawns? Yeah, we should try the prawns. But I don't really have high expectations from this. Why, because from, the look, like, uh? from the looks of it, it's very like white. <laughs> Okay, okay, we try, we try, we try. Cheers. A bit tasteless. <laughs> it is really tasteless. But I think these are frozen prawns. Because no taste, no texture, no bounciness. But I okay. Actually, even without the prawns, right? Yeah. I would just love it. I'm eating the squid. Because the squid itself, right, is tender. It gives a bit more like a different balance of like texture. Mm. I know for a fact there are tau gays on my spoon. But then I seem to forgo it so that shows something. Uh. Fun fact, she hates tauge a lot. Yeah. But because of the wok hay nice and the eh? flavour of the broth, right? It kind of like conceal that like taste wow. that we don't really like. Okay, now Hokkien Mee without chilli really? is our Hokkien okay, Mee, okay. okay? Yeah, so you put, after you put, you mix. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Oh my god. Can I just say, usually when you eat like food, mm. right? And they have chilli on the side, it doesn't really like elevate what you are eating. Okay. But for this one, right, once you put the chilli, like in the Hokkien Mee, it's another like it's another layer of flavor. Yeah, it's man. another experience in your mouth. 
think the chili itself, right? No, because I eat alone, right? I also think it's very fragrant, eh. What? I think one more thing to add, right, is usually I prefer Hokkien Mee with a bit of gravy. But I still don't mind it. I Correct. think, like, it's nice for what it is, eh. Mm. Six dollars? Yeah. I think for six dollars, oh, yeah, right. like the price is pretty decent. Yeah. And I think one more thing that I appreciate with this plate of Hokkien Mee is that usually yellow noodles, they have this very alkaline flavor. Oh my god. But for this one, right, I wouldn't say like there's no alkaline flavor, but there's a hint of it, but you won't really notice it because of the broth and because of the flavor of the, yes. the Hokkien Mee itself. Okay, so all in all, right, I think we really enjoyed this plate of Hokkien Mee. Then I feel like, because you know, they call themselves like, Charcoal fried. fried right? I feel like this is exactly what I think is charcoal fried. Yeah, it, like, it lives up for its name. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so now we will go to the next place which is Sui Guan Hokkien Mee. Oh, I heard it's the brother. Oh yeah, it's the brother. Oh, God, let's, go. Ah, let's go. Let's see which, which one is better. <laughs> So now we are at our second location and yeah. this is our second plate of Hokkien Mee and this place is called Sui Guan Hokkien Mee. Sui Guan Hokkien Mee. What do you know about Sui Guan? It's the brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that they cook over charcoal. So what is the difference? I think they just want to be separated. They just want to like take their own path. You know? Yeah. You know like siblings? Mm. I just want to do my thing. You just want right. to do your thing. But then yeah. can do the same thing. Right. But it's good <laughs> Hokkien Mee eh. Like, do they love Hokkien Mee so much? Ah? Maybe eh. Right. Are they Hokkien you think? Okay, as you can see, they have lesser How many prawns? <laughs> Three prawns. They got four. Okay, based on the looks of the prawns, this looks fresher than the previous store. It's just like, you see, it's a little bit more bouncy. Okay. Like, it's not stiff, you know? Yeah, it's not see. like, pew, it's... Pew. And the color of the Hokkien Mee here is lighter than the previous one. Yeah. First one, one was like, dark-ish, you know, like, like gray for gravy. water. Maybe okay. like, also less wet. It feels like a mm. bit more stir fried, yeah. You know? Yeah, true, yeah. true, true. That's very true. Okay, shall we put the lime first? Yes. Okay. What else do they have on the plate? Okay, yes. they have so chili later, lah. Huh? Yeah, we try chili without chili later, first. Yeah. I just want to know the like true taste. Okay, but one thing that I smell here that I feel like you wouldn't like already, the tau gay smell is quite strong. Yeah, I can smell it from here. So uh, hopefully you'll be okay with it. <laughs> Let's try it. Okay. <laughs> hmm. It's significantly different from the yeah. brothers one, yeah. you know? The first place that we went at, at Geylang, the seafood broth is like damn strong. But for this one, right, it's light, but there's this like um, flavor that once you eat it right, it will tingle your, your taste buds here. I saw that there were a few pieces of like pork lard, right? Mm -hmm. But I don't think the pork lard like fragrance come out. Uh. Yeah. That, that's why we cannot really tell. Like, is it pork broth or is Correct. it like seafood yeah. broth? I feel that it's missing a bit of the like wok hay. Correct. There's no the, wok hay actually. Yeah, yeah. Like even though I took a peep just now at the shop and then they cook on this like, the wok looks like wok hay, right? But then, <laughs> I feel like the wok hay come it's, out. Eh. Don't have. Really? Because I like, just yeah. saw the, the first one, right? You smell. Go already, right? right. Yeah. It's, the, it's like a slight char. Don't have. Yeah. This one is like a very, there's no char taste at all. So it's like quite a straight forward taste. Okay, you know what? Um, let's try with the chili. On the sweet side, uh, the chili. You can tell already because yeah. it's very red. I can totally feel it. Tau gay, bye. Yeah. Cheers. Sorry. <laughs> but I was about to say also, sorry. I ate the chili in the game was. <laughs> I think sweet chili doesn't really cut it. It needs to be a bit more like savory. Add the chili, right? It doesn't add an extra layer of fragrance to it. Nope. It's just like just make it spicy. Spice. That's all. You know? Yeah, because it's not a gay lang. When you mm. add the chili, right, it's actually a different experience yes, that you're yeah. having. It right. Really so if you like something without chili, you can still enjoy it. But with the chili, right, it's like another preference. Mm. Just try the prawns. Maybe the prawns are better. Uh okay. The prawns, the prawns are better. Are better. <laughs> yeah. No, for real. They're not stiff. They got a bit of bounce, and you know that it's like it's a bit of like um, it's a bit sweetness. Sweet. It's a bit yeah, sweet. it's yes. a bit sweetness yes. okay, on the okay. prawns. So we I think the, the prawns, prawns wise, this one. No offense, but I don't really feel like eating anymore. In conclusion, right, this Hokkien Mee really has more of like the MSG um, salty kind of feeling, and the slight alkaline taste mm. of the noodle is coming out. Right. I also think it's because like maybe the broth is not as seafoody and not as strong. So which Hokkien Mee do you like? Best. It's very obvious. Just watch back the just like Right. <laughs> okay, the one we prefer is it's Geylang Lorong 29, 29 Choco Fried Hokkien Mee. Wow, <laughs> um, yes. 
Yes. Very long name, but we also remember. Because right. we remember the taste as well. Yes. When I'm eating the second plate of Hokkien Mee, I was thinking of the first plate of Hokkien Mee. Correct. <laughs> I guess that means something, right? I yeah. Mean, the broth taste. Mm -hmm. I feel like I cannot really forget about the broth taste and that it's very gao. And I really like that it coated the noodles. Yeah. That is like the ultimate, like... I think I think that's the like the USP, yeah. And yeah. like the winning point for me. If you compare all the elements of the Hokkien Mee, right, between these two places, the noodles, Geylang wins. Yeah. The broth, <laughs> Geylang wins. <laughs> the um, chili. The chili itself also, yeah. Geylang wins. The number of squid. The number of squid also, like the, the number toppings, of lime. right, is, is like, it's like the squid, the lime, and even... The price! The price also, what? right, it's... So one one is like really not worth it lah. Yeah. Eight dollars eh. It's the next is ten dollars eh. Yeah. <laughs> then the, the Geylang one is like six dollars, but the plate is huge. Okay, the thing about the prawns also, but the Geylang prawns is like it's not nice lah. The Siwan prawns, right, is they are like fresher plus they okay. have like that sweetness inside. Okay. And but, more tender also. But you know what? I don't care about the prawns. <laughs> because the <laughs> No, I'm just trying to give Siguan a good point already. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like, actually we like like a lot of other Hokkien Mee. Yeah. Now. Actually there's a lot of Hokkien Mee places in Singapore. That's but we nice. chose these two places because they are rivals, you know, because they are your brotherly brothers, you know, like we see which one is better, you know what I mean? Honestly, if you like Siguan, right, I would love to see what you like about Siguan. So maybe yeah. you can comment down below, below. also. Tell us what you like. Thank you for watching this episode of Famous Rivals. If you want to watch all our other videos, it will be there. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye bye. Bye. Just don't, don't bash, bash us. Don't bash us, please. It's a. Uh... Hey, food is subjective, yeah, subjective. Um, You can okay. like Sugar and we can still be friends with Yeah, it's yeah. fine. And yeah. <laughs> 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 it does not ask, huh? Uh, that one is the one behind you. See? See, 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 see. <laughs>